friends, and welcome to your horoscope for July of 2020. We're Libra. This month, I'm going to just say it. If you are tired, please rest. Give yourself permission to guard and care for your health this month like nobody's business, like really, truly. Chiron's going retrograde this month in the energy of Aries, which very much so speaks to identity and it speaks to thine own self be true. So Libra, I cannot stress it enough. This month, if you are tired, rest. If you need to move at a little bit of a slower pace, do so. If you are feeling like you have got it all in the bag, do you. Move at the speed you need, but take absolute permission to guard and care for your health this month, okay? We've got another eclipse as we're coming into the month. We've got these questions of family and work happening for you, which is always something in relationships, right? But family and work, and it's interesting because this month, when I look at the horoscope, I actually feel like the other reason you want to guard your health and your energy is because there is stuff happening for other people that ends up coming to your table and you're needed to be of assistance or of help in some way, shape or form. And you want to be well and healthy and balanced enough to do that. And also to know when to tell people, no, you got to handle that. That's not, not for me. I can support you, but that's not for me. So Busy, busy month, I think, Libra, truly. Let's let's jump in here and let's talk about it and take a look at what's going on, okay? All right, so right at the beginning of the month, July 1st, coming into the month, Saturn, who's already retrograde, is going to come back with that retrograde into the energy of Capricorn. Now, this lights up the fourth house space. Nothing new. Libra, you've been looking at this for a couple years. You have been looking at Saturn's work. He's been raising you up, taking you to the next level in your home area. The fourth house is home family, real estate, property, your roots, psychological foundations. Those things live and lie in the fourth house. So you've been looking at and working on these things for a couple years. So now as Saturn brings this retrograde back, he says, okay, Libra, are we organized here? Do we need to reorganize? Are we self-disciplined in this area, right? So these are things that you're going to consider as he comes back. Now, just a few days later on the 5th, we're going to have this full moon lunar eclipse also happening in the energy of Capricorn. So staying right here in this fourth house place. Now, the full moon says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. But in eclipse fashion, what happens is we get a whole bunch of light shown on a situation, fourth house, and we're able to see it. In, in different colors, we see true colors, we see true information around something. And that's what allows us to end, acknowledge, or adjust with this energy. And that will play out over the next six months. Now, this is where I say for you as I'm looking at this, I really think that there are dramas or something going on in the lives of maybe a family member. Maybe you're having to make adjustments with a parent or someone who is parent-like to you or a family member in some way, shape or form where you're needing to, they are making the adjustments, they've got things going on and you're being called to the table to actually help and support them in some way. Now, of course, if that is not your situation, if that is not how that manifests for you, you can also look at how does this just happen in the home zone for you? Are you moving? Is it time for a new home? Is it time for a new place to live? Are you selling that house finally? COVID shut everything down. So now are you able to actually sell that house, buy that house, whatever it is? Definitely a change in the living or home situation could just be changing over this next six months. But the question to be responsible to is what happened on the first. Is it organized? Are you self-disciplined enough? to be able to have this area vibrate really high because there's new foundation that's set here. So it's not anything that's gonna be short term. This is a long term situation. On the 11th, we have Chiron, that wounded healer, heading into retrograde until December. Now this is in the energy of Aries, which lights up across the street, the seventh house for you. So conscious, chosen, one-on-one -on -one relationships, and also open enemies live in the seventh house as well. But with Chiron in Aries, this is a question of the identity, right? Who are you? Because Chiron's that hole in the soul and something has happened. The identity has been has been hurt. It has been bruised. It has been questioned. And so now as Chiron is going retrograde and you get to relook at this, this is where I say, Libra, to thine own self be true. How much can you take on? What is your responsibility to help with? There are these moments of self-sacrifice where it's like, yes, I don't want to do this. 
but I can do it. And then you do it and you're like filled with glory and it's all of this good stuff. And then there are these other moments where it's like, that's just not my business. How in the heck did I get over here? You know what I mean? So as Chiron is traveling here through December, to thine own self be true, Libra, what part do you honestly play in relationships, in your relationships? Where does your identity sit? I also think that because this is in the seventh house, um, you get to stand and face any doubts that you've had about relationships or you've had about um, contracts or your conscious chosen one-on-one -on -one interactions with other people. And by addressing doubts that you've had, fears that you've had here, maybe um, even addressing where you'd like to stand up and be a little bit more um, seen in these particular areas, what you actually do is invite some beautiful energy to your table, right? This Mars, Mars is traveling direct in the energy of Aries. This could walk a significant relationship into your life. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be. It could also be business. It could also be something or someone who just really speaks to this place where Libra is just being Libra, shining your own identity, your own personality through and through. And this significant relationship helps build you to get in that area or to get into that mode of living that new identity. I can't wait to see what you find out and how you start showing up as we close out this year because that new identity that you're forming here and you're making some peace and some healing with is ultimately going to be the one that you begin to travel with as we go into 2021. So really a nice energy here. On the 12th, we see Mercury coming out of retrograde in the energy of Cancer, so he's turning direct. Remember that Mercury needs a couple days to get back into the groove of his orbit. So the stationing day can be a little unstable. It can be a little cattywampus over here. So just remember on the 12th, if things feel crazy and all your devices feel like they've just about fried out and everything else, just give it a couple days. These things will slow down, but this is definitely going to impact the area of career for you. And if you are retired, unemployed, independently wealthy, not working, whatever the situation is in the 10th house, besides it just being career, this is also what you do and what you give to the world, your reputation, who do we know you as? You know, are you Mrs. or Mr. So-and-so? We've got stuff going on in the seventh house. Are there changes to relationships? So you're no longer Mr. or Mrs. Um, oh, okay. Somebody took a different position at work. I'm not sure who you are. I look forward to seeing who you are. One of you took a different position at work and it is what you wanted. And it was the right move, but as you've been in it, you realize you don't want that position. So it looks like you're trying to maybe go back. You're stepping back to a different position or you're requesting to step back to a different position. So it'll be interesting to see what this Mercury Direct, how it helps you make some decisions about what's actually right for you. Because the challenge here is always to balance um, work and home. Libra, right. We're always dancing in between this balancing of work and home. Both work and home are significantly important this month. Um, so keep an eye on what is actually in alignment with your intuition. Yes, you could have that position where you make more money or you could have that position where you make less money. But if it kicks everything at home out of balance, what do you do with that? So I think that'll be something good to review this month. Now, as we get to the 20th of the month, we've got a new moon happening at 28 degrees of Cancer. So this, again, puts that emphasis in the career. And the new moon is where you're going to plant these seeds of intention for what you would like to see happen next. What do you want to manifest in this area of your life, in your career, in what you're known for, in what your reputation carries out of the door way before we see you, Libra? What do you want here in this particular area? Because the energies are showing up over the next four weeks to help this manifest for you. As we close out this month, we see the sun moving into the energy of Leo. So this brings light, heat, life, and vitality to the friendship zone. You could be being social, right? Now we've got plenty of social instability going on just on this planet in general, but with the shifts and the turns that are happening this month as well. But this is still a really nice time. The sun wants and is motivated to be social, to be out here, to be moving. Plus you are a Venetian energy, Venus plus the sun. This is just decadent. It's delicious. It's fresh. Friendly. So whether it be on social media, you're learning something online, you're actually going out having a little barbecue, you're having to get together in a social group to make a long range plan for something going forward. This energy is definitely here to support you with the big generous heart and the big old voice of this Leo energy as well.
So I think it's going to be a good month, Libra. I don't think it is a month that is boring at all. And I look forward to seeing how things are manifesting for you. So please let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the solstice gift appointments that are in the description box down below at the Eat and Greets and of course, just around the channel. All right, Libra, have a great month. Bye.